we have a coach yes. on this segment of our show of Spotlight on Team Singapore uh, because previously we only had athletes. Yeah. And now we have Annette Pierce here, head coach of the Thank you. Singapore national team. And she called Shoes is the nickname she says. So That's right. Shoes. Yeah. Welcome to our uh, show. Yeah. Thank you. Fantastic to, to have you both here. Um, you know, it's phase two. We're, we're well into phase two at the moment, Annette. Um, are the girls back training? They are. We've been doing Zoom and strength and conditioning by Zoom, so that has been a real challenge for the girls. And thankfully, we're now back on the court, but we are restricted by five, five on a court. So as coaches, that's really made us have to think outside the square as how we run trainings, as well as um, the social distancing and not being able to have that contact um, with the players as well. Shui, it must have been such a struggle doing Zoom training, you know, with a screen and now how you know happy are you to be back on court and just relief I, i'm sure that must be you must be feeling yeah definitely like when we are training in zoom it feels although, although your teammates are on screen it feels quite alone sometimes and you really kind of have to push yourself push yourself through uh, mentally uh, now you have people kind of suffering alongside with you uh, doing that extra runs and that extra push with you so definitely very excited to be back now, John, we were both in the Philippines for, for the SEA Games. Mm -hmm. Keep running into each other for some reason. We weren't <laughs> working together, but we just ran into each other. Yep. Um, and I was there for the final uh, for Singapore-Malaysia, big rivalry. And yep. uh, unfortunately, the girls <laughs> lost. Um, is that still a sore point? Is it too soon to be, to be talking about it? Uh, well, I think it's always going to be a motivation for us to, to train harder. Uh, it's definitely... A disappointment nobody trained to lose or compete go go on court to to come back with that losing feeling uh, but we have to look forward definitely um, of course uh, we had the NSL yeah. and then uh, now we hope that we will be able to move forward to the next competition be it Nations Cup or Asian Indoor Games and prove otherwise yeah, I mean, we've seen, we've talked a bit also about the the age profile of the squad because naturally it's been a, a, a big change since the 2015 squad uh, through KL and of course last year, and we're talking about specifically, uh, specifically about the SEA Games. But of course, like you mentioned, you also have other competitions on the horizon, whether it's Nations Cup, uh, Asian Netball Championships, I don't know if it's still happening. This year, most of the events have been a washout. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but what are your next targets? Uh, are there any specific ones that are coming up for you guys? There is, a, like we're hoping Nations Cup will go ahead. And I mean, ideally we are hoping that we'll be, be able to run a full court because we'll be going in under done with the gameplay. Whereas if we're looking at the countries that are possibly coming, they're back in, back in playing. So we're talking the Pacific Island teams as well. Um, we've got the indoor Asian games that um, will be a first for netball, which would be fantastic. So that's a real big target sitting there. And then if we look further down the track, it would be, we know, we're hoping that um, we would get the tick to maybe look forward to SEA Games as well, because C with SEA Games, netball's either in or out, so they're yeah. really big targets. So that means it puts us up against Sri Lanka and Malaysia again, and it is, like, bring it on, because I had the opportunity to be there in SEA Games as well as the performance analysis, so you yeah, felt the pain what these uh, girls were going through as well. So they're really big targets that we're aiming for. As you said, new role for yourself, um how have you adjusted to it? Look, it's fantastic. The girls have been great, like same with Netball Singapore and the support I've got. Um, it, is, it is a fantastic challenge to have now, sort of switching from performance analysis now back into coaching because that's where I'd um, gone with New Netball New Zealand as well. So it is, it is great to be. And I've always loved Singapore and, like I say, working with the girls, so it's fantastic. Shui, have you needed to change the way you speak to her or the way that you, know, you have that relationship with her now that she is the head coach? So uh, I think, like previously, we only speak to her mostly in competitions. <laughs> yeah, so like about court play and things. Uh, it's still the same, we are talking about court play and uh, all this, how the strategies and things like that. Uh, but we, we get to see her more often now. Uh, yeah, and I mean, and it has been great with uh, setting the team culture as well. So bring some, uh, I guess, new life <laughs> to the team, yeah, since we are, it's kind of young squad as well, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 very young. <laughs> well, we do know that netball traditionally has been a very strong team sport within the Singapore community. Yeah. I mean, we, we do have many sports, of course, in Singapore, but netball has always been one of 
the ones that bring in the fans yep. uh, in Singapore. So, but even then, uh, perhaps maybe you could share with us some of the common or the popular misconceptions that pe people may have about mm. the sport of netball. I guess the one major one that sits there is um, we're told netball is a non-contact sport. Okay. So, yeah, it is non-contact, supposedly. But, I mean, if you, if you watch it, there's many a time that two players are going for a ball and ending up on the, the ground. I mean, there's quite a few injuries. So that would be one of the big misconceptions. Okay. And I guess the other one is, is especially for the um, young players starting out, sometimes if they're very tall, they're sort of put down into a shooting or a goalkeep position instead of having the opportunity to play all the positions. So that's why you have sometimes the rotation policy. So at least as young players coming through, they have that opportunity to play a centre. They could be six foot and run it as a centre. And if you get out on the international stage, you are actually up against tall players like that. You'd yeah. agree with shoes, yeah. So, yeah, but the biggest one is everyone says it's a non-contact sport, but you what, yeah. You know, John, I, I was part of a charity event, I think two years ago, where we were all taking part in a netball event. Mm. Uh, and so it was my first time ever, you know, playing netball. Um, and it's explosive. It really is. It's hard on your knees because you're jumping and you're running almost similar to, to basketball, almost in a way. And I think do, do people realize like how hard it is and how fit you need to be to play netball? No, I don't. I don't think they realize that. Like, <laughs> even when we are traveling, we always get asked like what sport we are from and then they're like, oh, is that like basketball or volleyball? <laughs> and then we're like, no, no, no we're, like, we can't dribble, you know, that kind yeah. of thing. But yeah, like it takes the seven of us on court to make a goal count. Yeah, and when we are on defence, it's the seven of us on defence as well. So not everyone can shoot, but it takes a team effort, definitely. Uh, yeah, there's different kind of like segments of the court that you can be on. Yeah, with the centre obviously running the most part. Yeah, and we have to be very fit. Yeah, I mean, international standard is, is mm. very different. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it's well, the same to say for every sport, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah we're I talking guess. about the fitness. Uh, yeah. I'm certainly not looking forward to the workout segment that oh will be man. coming uh, very shortly <laughs> after this. But yeah, yeah you need I to mean, be very fit, Duncan. You need to be. You need to be very <laughs> fit. Uh, so okay, so during circuit breaker and phase one, obviously, mm. uh, as you mentioned, the NSL season was cut short. You know, the girls had to stay home. What kind of workout regime did you put them under? Okay, so before <laughs> just before we went into circuit breaker, we'd actually put out international standards that we wanted the girls to be hitting targets on. Um, we've done a lot of research around that, so really fortunate to have a really good um, support um, management staff there with the strength and conditioning. Um, so we sat down and worked out a plan. So the girls, the, they were all doing strength and conditioning twice a week by Zoom, so they had to send in pictures of their backpacks, of their weights, what they'd be using, so like all the, what the athletes were doing. Um, then they had a run program that they needed to be doing during the weekend and then they had two Zoom classes with me on a Tuesday and Thursday with the other coaches as well, sorry. Um, and we set out like Tabata exercises, hand and eye coordination, just um, quick footwork just to keep them up there. So they'd work solidly for about an hour and a half in those as well. So we, we were just really pushing that. And then when we were able to come back sort of slowly back onto the courts. We've actually done speed sessions as well. So we've been on a hockey turf and also out to the beach, we're po but also ma making sure we're maintaining the actual correct ruling of the social distancing and groups of five. All right, sounds intense, John. I think this leads us perfectly into your <laughs> most favourite part of this episode. Our favourite uh, part favorite. of this segment yeah, sure. very soon. <laughs> uh, well, we're going to get Shui to uh, do a quick demonstration mm. of a few of her home workouts. Yeah. Right. I think that was it only done over circuit breaker or is actually also part of the regular training uh, that you usually do this? It can be part of the regular training, of course, uh, but because you only require a small space, yeah, and yourself basically to, to run that workout. So, Okay, yeah. sounds perfect for right. anyone <laughs> uh, who wants to just, you know, try some home workouts even, or something you don't need too much time to, to have a go at. So, but it might not be as easy as it sounds. We're going to find out soon enough. It never uh, is. It never, yeah, is. it never is it never quite is. as easy <laughs> as it sounds. Okay, so <laughs> should we look. shoes? Right. Show us <laughs> what you're right. Okay, so uh, we have three exercises oh, three for la. you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, oh, so the um, first one is because like we have a lot of jumping and running, like you say, right? So uh, a broad jump, and then you're on an angled run. As if you are going for intercept. Okay, so jump and then run. 
Okay. Yeah. So okay. angled run. So make sure you turn your hips to run. Yeah. And then after you run, then you go back to the same thing. Jump, run. Okay. Yeah. And I, how how long do you do that for? We do it for like I mean, there's 30 seconds, then 30 seconds rest, or like 40 seconds, 20 seconds rest. Okay. I mean, okay. you can up it however you want to. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And wow. then uh, there's the burpees. Okay. okay, I'm not sure this will drop. Okay, <laughs> let's go for it. Let's go, go for it. Let's go for it. All right. <laughs> we'll okay. So um, the celebratory burpees are so celebratory. Awesome. Yeah. So burpees. in the sense oh, you no, burpee. Yeah, both of them together. All right. Clap. Oh. Clap. Ah. Okay. Clap. Okay. Yeah. That's one. And, uh, and how, how many? many of those do you usually? Same time length. Same thing. Oh, it's a time okay. time based. Yeah. Oh. So as many yeah. as possible. <coughs> okay. Yeah. As many. Yeah. As many as possible. I think for them, it's 30 seconds. <laughs> 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. I think yeah. for us, 30 seconds on, about five minutes off. <laughs> <laughs> very likely. Very likely. Very likely. Very likely. Okay, Sorry. and then was the third one. Yeah, and then the last one, uh, a bit of core. So from here, on a side plank, and then you're crunching. Uh, oh this one man. looks... Uh, yeah. Right? Yeah. New Milo Gao Siu Dai Less Sugar with Whole Grain Cereal. Get the goodness of whole grains with more fiber and protein. The healthier breakfast choice. I'm trying to think in my head, <laughs> which one would I like to do if I'm being called to challenge? And none of them uh, are, are things that I want to do at all. Well, I mean, if I had a choice... Is there a choice? Yeah. I, I don't know. Actually, I so don't have a choice. So, why not we have a serious Paper Stone challenge? Serious <laughs> Paper Stone? Yeah. Paper Stone. So, uh. maybe for, the, for today, oh. for the first time, <laughs> yep. we might actually break that duck of not having two people do a challenge. Just one, right? <laughs> Just one Okay, so us. which is the challenge, first of all? Yeah, of which, the three which are, which exercises. Of oh, you're going to ask us to do all three, is it? Yeah. All three! Oh, so today's what? winner. High stakes scissors paper yeah, stone right stakes. now. <laughs> it's best of how many scissors? Best of how many? Three. three. Best of three, best of three yeah. Quite yeah. stressful. Oh, okay, scissors, paper, stone. Oh, one Duncan. Scissors, paper, stone. Scissors, paper, stone. Scissors, paper, stone. Woo! Okay. Okay. Scissors, scissors, paper, stone. stone. Oh, there we go. Oh. <laughs> Come on. John Young. Yeah, you're, oh, you're up. You're up. All the luck I get. Okay, so yeah. which, uh, I'm just going to... Okay, well, so which should one we is time it? <laughs> oh, oh, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I have my phone <laughs> ready here. So I'm supposed to do... Jump. Uh, jump. Standing board jump. Yeah. That's where yeah, I might just fly off the screen here. Oh. And then I'm supposed to do an angle <laughs> run, right? Yeah. I run, make yeah. that angle run. run, I come back here again. No, you just like jump from, from where there, you I jump are, then you angle run. Back. Ah, okay. Yeah. Like a V lah. Let's yeah. see yeah. if I get this right. Okay, are you ready? I, I hope I am. Okay, in three, <laughs> two, one, go. Okay, tell me if I do it wrong. Okay, so I'm supposed to run here. Yep. Yep. And then yep. I'm supposed to? Go jump, again. jump again. Jump here. Yeah, and then come back. And then run there. Yeah, so just jump straight. Just jump straight. Yeah, yeah. And go run back. Run, yes. Faster. And then faster, 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 faster. faster. The headquarters is telling you to faster. go faster. It's not acceptable, John. <laughs> Whoa. Jen's training. What's go. the time like? You've got, you got 10 seconds left. Go. I'm going to buy a bit of time, extra time here. No, no, time. this is an ad work. <laughs> I don't have much space to jump. You're flying anymore. off the screen. <laughs> yeah, very good, very good. Yeah. And, then this, and, this, and there's more. Yeah. So you've got, you got 30 seconds rest, but no, because this is live television, we don't have time for 30 seconds rest. So <laughs> <laughs> you go to the celebratory burpees. Yeah. So celebrate, oh, okay. So with I'm the push-up. Yeah. Just going to go for that one. Yeah. yeah. With the push-up, right? Yeah, yeah. So oh, yeah, the push-up yeah. and then up. And then go. like that? Yeah, yeah. 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 jump okay. up, clap. Have you even started time yet? <laughs> Not yet, but you can go. <laughs> <laughs> go, go, I'm starting now. Just, I'm just starting now. Yeah. Up, up, up. Clap. <laughs> Pop my mind. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Halfway there, John. <laughs> Halfway there. You've got 10 seconds left. <laughs> You need to celebrate push, push. it. You don't seem like you're really <laughs> yeah, celebrating. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. Definitely not celebrating today. Okay, last one. Yep. All right. Okay. <laughs> and now it's the side, the side the plank. One? The plank. The crunches. Good grief. <laughs> <laughs> this way is better. Whichever, yeah, your favorite, <laughs> yeah. your favorite side. Maybe yeah. this. How do I do this again? Side plank. Yep. yep. Then like that. Yeah, upper yep. and up. Um, up and, and then. And then you do the side crunch. Yeah. Like that. Yeah, yeah that's it. I'm oh, yeah. Nice and straight. But I need to be on... Thing more off, off camera at the moment. Okay. <laughs> Just carry so on. like this. Yeah. And go. Go. Shows, it shows, shows you. <laughs> do you think this technique's oh. acceptable or? Oh, oh, you're not really happy with your technique, John. Oh, you need to be nice I'm and straight. Not this you need day. to be <laughs> nice and straight. Your hips forward. You should see the looks yeah. that you give. 
Just looking yeah, at Pip's the food, yeah. I don't think you'll be called up for the Nations Cup anytime soon. I hope not. <laughs> if this is a training. <laughs> okay, last yeah, two. Better, better. Yeah. One, and stop. Oh, oh, right. oh very oh, good. Yeah. Yeah. Very good, work. very good, very good. good. <laughs> How was that? Well, <laughs> let me catch my breath while we're... Exciting, isn't it? <laughs> it is, it is. So this is what, what the girls will be doing during Circuit Breaker. Yeah, mm -hmm. some, just some, some of the exercise. Okay, some, some of it. It's like... Maybe Definitely not all of it. They didn't bring a weighted backpack for you. Otherwise... Yeah. Why would I even need a... <laughs> weighted backpack? Do squats, imagine? Or with, with mm. yeah. Well, certainly okay. a good workout. <laughs> okay, as you catch your breath... Yeah. Okay, we go into another challenge. And this is my personal favourite. The terminology. Uh, ah. Section of uh, segment of, of each episode. So we have netball, uh, a netball player and a netball coach here. So we'll do netball terminologies. And do, how's your netball knowledge in general? What I do you know, know about netball? Basic rules, maybe, but not so much. What's the basic rules? You know? <laughs> yeah, basic rules. Yes, sir. You should score one, one point. <laughs> that's, that's, that's your basic knowledge of, of netball. Um, and then if you're kind enough, just bring the white, well, just one white board and yeah, just one marker. Yeah. Okay, so. This is for you, essentially, because like I just love giving you... Yeah, it seems like everything's for me today. <laughs> out, of this <laughs> world, out of this world, term. But um, maybe you would, would know what I'm, I'm saying. Some of these, so in the past, some of these terms have been very Americanized or very specific to a certain country. And so even our Singapore athletes um, weren't really familiar with the terms. Yeah. Uh, so hopefully this one is from a British website. So uh, hopefully it's, it's something they would know. So I would test you, and as you're trying to guess, uh, Shui and both of you can, can uh, come out with the answer together. What is actually the term? And if you want to do some demonstration, feel free. <laughs> All okay? Right. okay. So the first one, an easy one, what does clearing mean? Clearing? Yes. I Which reckon... One? You know, you, it's what that clearing run that we did. Have you heard this in any other sport? If it's something similar to football, mm. probably getting the ball... Out of defense. But netball, there's no clear the ball, right? Where yeah, you yeah, have netball. Throw to just the side. <laughs> <laughs> Up and away, is it? Just I don't think, they, I, I, if I'm not wrong, you can't ball. go beyond two thirds. Yes. So I think that's, that's the rule, that's right? It's probably yeah, yeah, the yeah. rule, I'm not too sure. But, yeah. but clearing, maybe just get it out of there. Just get it out of there, yeah. right? Am I wrong? Is that, is that the, the right answer? <laughs> Pretty much, I guess. Mm. Oh, okay. Yeah, so um, it's an attacking term, actually. So oh, it's an attacking term. Yeah. Okay, attacking term. So they were wrong already. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, so basically, um, as an attacker, if you were here, and then, like, you, are, you have missed the timing, so, or, like, you're not in a good timing to get a ball, and then you will clear, so that you are out of the way, so someone else can, can come Making through. Making space for, yeah. for ah, his team. Yeah. What, what does the T stand for, teammate? Is it the, the thrower or the thrower. person with the ball. Okay. Yeah. I see. Okay. Yeah. Wow, okay. Makes a lot of sense now. She was very kind to you. She said, quite close. You are way off <laughs> with that one. Hey, I, I got my terminology yeah, from yeah, another sport. You got a football, one, a football some, one. Some coaches will say, like, clear the ball. So it means yeah. that, like, how you had it. If we've got a rebound, we want to clear the ball and get it out of the yeah. space. Ah, a okay. Quicker, so, yeah. I see. Yep, okay. So. But wrong. <laughs> uh, second term, what is a half roll? Half what yeah, roll? Half roll. R O L L. R O L L. Half roll. Yeah. It's like six, six inch and then, you know, a foot long on <laughs> subway. So a half roll. A half roll? Yes. Wow. Um, and it's not R-O-L-E, it's R-O-L-L. -L. Yes. Roll. Half roll. Maybe it's something that they do on the court, you know? Maybe they roll halfway. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that that's what it means. I just play with him on this one. <laughs> wild guess. Uh, wild guess. Wild guess would be... Nothing to do with substitutions? No? Uh, no, it's <laughs> not. Nothing to do with substitutions. Give up. I have no idea for this one, man. Okay. And then, Shui? Same. Yep. Is that oh, see? Term love it. First wow. demonstration. Yeah. 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 I love it. Actual Demi demonstration. Yes. Fantastic. Okay. So, defender. Right. Uh, Who's the uh, defender? And then. Okay. Annette. All right. Yeah. Okay. So, like, I'm trying to get away from her. So, yeah. trying to move her this way. Yeah. And then I'll just come back. Okay. Ah, it's like a roll, okay. but a full roll is kind of like from here. I roll. Full around. Oh, okay. yeah. ah, I see. It's a technique to get away it's from your technique. marker. It's a <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's almost like a body feint for the half one and then you yeah. go around. Ah, interesting. I like I that. that. Yeah. I like the demonstration. Fantastic. Yeah. You didn't get that one right. I didn't get that one right. <laughs> Nowhere near. Um, Still zero? 
Still zero <laughs> after two. I don't fancy your chance for the next for the next <laughs> for the easy ones. <laughs> Those were the easy ones. Those were the oh good grief. Those um, were the easy ones. Okay. Okay, maybe not. This this one, the name kind of gives it away. What is a sprint dodge? Sprint. Hmm. So basically You know the five D's of dodgeball? No, I don't. But sprint I, dodge, I reckon I, I it definitely in, in involves a sprint at some point. And then you, And then you dodge the ball? Hmm. Yeah. 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 Once they give you, I, I think that I, I don't know whether they're drawing or whether they're going to do the demo, but it's very similar to something that you would do in uh, football. In football, yes. In football, mm. sprint dodge. But it's not. It's not the term. It's, 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 a, not, it's not a different term, term altogether. Yeah. Something to do with painting, as well. I, I guess. I mean, there was quarter <laughs> mark for you, lah. It's not even <laughs> half. Anything that I breaks the zero. Give you, yeah. <laughs> Okay, I'll give you a quarter mark for that one, but I think they will... They okay, will, they all right. Will, what's in? Do you want to draw it out or...? You want to demo or you want to draw it? Demo. Right. Demo. <laughs> See, I love it. Second. <laughs> love it. Another demonstration. A lot sprinting. Yeah. Lots no of sprinting demonstrations yet. today. Yeah, so you kind of like really sprint up, dodge, and then kind ah. of go through. Not yeah. too far off. Yeah. I deserve more than a quarter mark <laughs> for that. Yeah. Half lah. Okay, I give you half. <laughs> one way and then you go another yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. 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 So it's another technique to get away. Yeah. 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 It's interesting. I think because everyone is easily to, to mark, right? So you yeah. just need to find different ways to get away yeah. from, your, from the defender. Uh, getting away from your marker, basically. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, the next one is a... Is a tr not, not too fair on you lah, but uh, you know, who, who is fair on this? Yeah, on this who cares about John anyway? Yeah, yeah. So, but, <laughs> uh, but I think it's more for them to explain later on, but okay. just to have some fun. What is high five netball? High five... Hmm. High five you don't know. <laughs> you're looking at me like <laughs> blank stare. Yeah, it looks like maybe you're the only one who has <laughs> 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 on your phone. British <laughs> website, okay? High five netball is something yeah. you definitely don't do during COVID-19 because it's, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's all I know. So that can't be wrong. You've got to give me a mark for that one. I'm, it's so, actually, it is not a, a term of in-game. Oh. It's a particular version of the sport. You play with five players? It's a variation of the... Yes, check. <laughs> <laughs> is it? Huh? Any idea? Have you heard about high five netball? Fast five netball. High, yeah, maybe fast five. It's so... Okay, I don't want uh, to put anyone on the spot. It's kind of like high five netball. Again, from the British website. <laughs> look at me like, oh, oh, Duncan, what have you done now? <laughs> you know? High five netball is a popular uh, introductory game and an easy way for young kids to get to know more about netball. Ah. So, um, yeah, it Definitely targets children age between age 9 to 11. Yeah. Uh, it's, uh, the game uses friendly fun and variety to get them interested in playing the game. Uh, it helps kids polish their netball skills and is good exercise. Ah. Is it I familiar with something that you heard of before? It'll be... Not in Singapore. No. I don't think it's something in Singapore, but yeah, it's something No, like they're just, just a name for a yeah, well. yeah. one of their youth programs. Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. Wow. So we've learned something as well. Yeah, we have yeah. like the kids Sounds net. Good. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So a different, maybe a diff by, by a different name, maybe something yeah. similar. Yeah. yeah. But they play like with different length of the pole. Okay. Yeah. The the smaller yeah. Interesting. Uh, ah, the yeah. smaller ball. That smaller could ball. have been an another guess about the high five netball, or just five people playing netball at a very high place. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> so that is uh, what half a point four. Final, final score half a point half four. Half and half means one. I've got Fantastic. one point. Oh, you, oh, you're taking the, the, you're taking the, the third one. I've got the half third one. Point. When will you get the other half from? The last, the last one. You're gonna take that as well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one out of four. Not too bad, John. Twenty-five percent. <laughs>
when we actually have quite a heavy year. So um, we had the World Cup in Liverpool, which I was fortunate to be a part of, and then the Nations Cup team as well, and of course, lastly, the SEA Games team. While it didn't come off uh, with with a win, of course, yeah, but uh, I've been in and out of the team, yeah, so it was a great time to, to be back and mm. uh, playing with the team, yeah. And Annette? Straight into it, not not had the chance to, to actually coach the team proper and, and go for a proper match, but targets for when it does return? Well, targets is, but first one is Nations Cup. I mean, we're going to go for gold, but I mean, the, t <laughs> the teams that we're coming in, are, we're up against. I mean, they are ranked higher than us in the world, so we have to set the standards high, but we, we know there's an um, process there. And I say the um, indoor Asian Games as well, so everyone... Every target we're sitting there, especially when we're in Asia, is, is we're aiming for, aiming for number one. Yeah. Um, but there's also those steps that we have to take first, so that's the ultimate, ultimate goal. And we have got a new young squad as well, so it's just um, really making sure they've got the support and we just put it out there on the court. Fantastic. And we'll be supporting you as the, as the media, but there's also another way for people to support them as well. That's right. Uh, it, this is definitely a good time, of course. Team Singapore needs your support. So do head on over to C Team Singapore Facebook page mm. right at the top for the pin post. You can pledge your support for our Team Singapore athletes. All you have to do is to drop your support or your pledge into the comment section of that post in the lead up to this year's National Day. Fantastic. And that's yeah. it for Spotlight on Team Singapore, but we're not done with the show just yet because we have Get Active with Milo. Who is going to do the workout today? That's right. For today's eight-minute workout segment led by Team Singapore, we have Shermaine Tung, our very own pentathlete, who will be taking you through this set of her HIIT HIT workout. Fantastic stuff. Enjoy this workout. Hi guys, welcome to another segment of Get Active with Milo. So I'm Shamin, and today our workout will be mainly on legs. So everything from the glutes all the way to even your adductors and abductors, okay? So same thing, it will be 30 seconds each exercise. So there will be all together three sets. Set one and set two, we'll be repeating it twice. And then set three will be on your uh, adductors and adductors, okay? So without further ado, let's start. So we are always standing in a starting position. Uh, standing position. First, I'll be sumo squat pulses. So open your legs wide. So this is your normal squat. So we're going to open wide, and we're going to pulse up and down for 30 seconds. So for pulsing, you don't actually have to stand up all the way. You just have to go up a few inches and back down again. So really feel the burn in your glutes, and remember to warm up before this, OK? So five more seconds, we're going to switch to squat stands calf raises. So for this, we are going to stay here and calf raise. And calf raise. So this is to work on your muscles here. So it's very effective, especially if you are running a lot. So as much as possible, try to maintain your balance, engage your abs at all time, and just raise as high as possible and back down. And then we're going to repeat this again. So same thing, squat pulses. So as you can see, for this entire uh, sumo squat exercises, we are not even standing up. We're just going to remain in this position. So you can really feel the burn in your quads and in your glutes, and that's good. <laughs> OK, so pulse for about five more seconds. So by now, you should be feeling the kick. And back to calf raises. So if you really feel the burn in your legs and you think it's too hard, you can always stand up and do this. So this will be slightly easier. But if you think that it's too easy, you can always go back down again. Okay, so the next one will be a lunge variation. We're going to change your lunge. So this is forward lunge with knee tuck. So you tuck in your knee and you go forward. So alternate legs and forward. So I always like to add in a knee tuck 
because it actually increases my hip flexibility, which is important for running. <laughs> so five more seconds, and we're going to change into reverse lunge. Okay, so reverse lunge, <laughs> backwards. So if you want an extra kick for this reverse lunge, you can always lunge, and when you stand up, kick back. So lunge, stand up, kick back. So the extra motion is actually to fire up your glute muscles, which is very important for running, for swimming, and actually for everything that you do. <laughs> okay, we're going to change back to forward, knee tuck. So even though lunges may seem boring, but it's actually a very effective workout and also very essential exercise to include in all your legs workout. So this entire workout will be no impact. The only impact you have is actually for your legs. Okay, so back to reverse lunges. So try to lunge as far back as possible. And really feel that stretch in your hip flexors here. And down. Five more seconds to go. Okay, and we're going to go on the floor. So next one is inner lifts. So for this one, you're going to cross one leg over. And we're going to be working on one leg first. So from here, we're going to lift. So you should be firing up this whole part here, also known as the groin muscle, which is also known as the adductor muscle. <laughs> okay. And after this, it will be adductor holes. So lift it up and hold it there. So this is a muscle that a lot of people rarely train. So it's very, it gets tired easily, which is the whole point of this workout. So hold it there. So we got 10 more seconds. After this, we're going to change to the abductor side, which is the outside. We're going to work on the same leg again. So you're just going to flip. And we'll be doing this. So apart from training your abductor muscles here, you'll also be training your glutes. As you can see, it's a very comfortable position. So if you're watching Netflix, you can actually do this while watching a movie. So if you want additional difficulty, you can always lift up and do this. Okay, next one, circles. So we're going to stay in the same position, but instead of lifting up, we're going to go for circles. So by now, your legs should be burning, but just hold it there for a couple more seconds, 15 to be exact, before you're going to switch to the other leg. So if you're in this position, you're actually working your abs at the same time, compared to this. Okay, now we're going to change to the left leg. So same thing, we're going to start from the inner thigh first. So do this. So pulse up and down. So after this, always remember to stretch your muscles here after this exercise. So you can actually stretch it by doing a sumo squat and pushing your legs out. Or you can do a butterfly stretch. And we're going to change to hold. So bring it up as high as possible and hold it there. So subconsciously, your leg will drop because of fatigue. But always remember to push it back up. So every 10 seconds, remind yourself, OK, up. And then up. Okay, hold it there for about five more seconds. Push it up as high as possible. And we're going to switch back to outer. So from here, up. So really contract your muscles. We are not going for speed here. We are going for controlled movements. So don't be doing this. Just control. Really squeeze those muscles, your glute muscles. Okay. 
So same thing, if you want additional difficulty, you can raise it up and do this. And circles. So this is the last one. So hang in there. Draw as many circles as possible. 15 more seconds. Uh. Okay, last five. And rest. Okay, so that is for the legs workout. Thank you so much for joining me on today's segment. And take care. I'll see you soon. Wow, she really did put the pant in fantastically there, did she? Well, definitely panting non-stop. Uh, well, we do hope you enjoyed today's segment and learned a little something new from the netball terminologies that mm -hmm. Duncan brought you, uh, as well as some of the home workouts you can do in the comfort of your home, own home. Yeah. Uh, that will bring you plenty of discomfort. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but don't forget to join us uh, again this Wednesday yes. for the Wednesday report because we have a very special edition of the Get Active Singapore workout. It's a dance-off challenge that you will not want to miss. If you're lucky enough, you will see John doing some of those moves. We'll see you <laughs> on Wednesday at 9pm. I don't, I don't know where that came from. <laughs> Bye. See ya.